What's up, people, and welcome to the very first episode of Any Up, the only sports show with the host pay for their bad predictions. I'm your host, Trey Mo, and this is my co-host, Dylan. Oh, okay, co-host? I, I'm, I'm not the co-host, you're the co-host. No, I'm not co-hosting anything. I'm not co-hosting anything. Okay, well, fine, we're both hosts. Yeah. Once again, I'm your host, Trey Mo, and... I'm your host, Dylan Garcia, and the way the show works is every week we pick the top three sporting events, and we bet on them to see who's gonna take the L. And whoever loses two out of three has to do something crazy like eat a lot of cockroach, make out with a St. Bernard, or do something crazy like this girl. This is f***ing cra- <laughs> She's eating the ice cream right out of the machine, look at her. See dog, that's why I tell people not to bet against me. Look what just happened, you see? Cause obviously at the end of each episode, we're gonna have a list of three dares for you guys to choose from. Vote for your favorite dare by leaving it in a comment below. The loser will have to take the L and do the dare with the most votes at the beginning of next week's episode. Which is probably gonna be true. Nah, it's not gonna be me, I can assure you that. To be honest, I think we picked the driest week in sports to start our first episode. I agree with you on that. Last week would have been a hell of a lot better. You had the Manny Pacquiao Bradley fight, you had the Miami Heat versus the Pacers. Not to mention the biggest college basketball game of the year, UConn versus Kentucky. True, true. Anyways, regardless. Coming up first, we have the Trailblazers versus the Rusty Rockets. Rockets. Rusty Rockets? Yeah. Now, like first of all, the Rockets are doing good, okay? James Harden is beasting. You got Dwight Howard who's putting up numbers this year. Yeah, the Rockets oh, are going to oh, be nice. Oh, oh, Dwight Howard, the guy who disappears during playoffs? That that's, 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 that's old soft. stuff. That's, that's old stuff. He's Don't soft. bring up old stuff, okay? I had Teddy Bears harder than year. Dwight Howard. What about this year? Yeah. He's still soft. If whatever is soft remains soft. It just doesn't become So hard. you're rolling with Portland? He's going to be on the bench. Tell him I said what's up. So you're rolling with Portland? Yeah, go ahead and go with the Rusty Rockets. All right, I got the Rockets. He's taking the L on this one. You guys' name should be the WD-40s. That's how rusty y'all are. Baseball season just started, and you know what that means. Dodger dogs. Every league has teams that hate each other. The California rivalry is one of the most intense. You have the LA Dodgers versus the San Francisco Giants. Okay, I gotta tell you, you know I got love for the Bay, but I was raised and born in Los Angeles, so obviously I'm just gonna have to go with the Dodgers. First off, like I said, the Dodger dogs. Has nothing to do with the sport. But, I mean, they got Matt Kent back. That's a wrap. Dodgers, all day. First of all, the Giants aren't even the same team as they were last year. The Giants have a totally new roster, revamped with young talent. There's no way LA is gonna pull it out. Plus, Bob Saget is a huge Giants fan. Bob Saget, that's the guy from Full House? Yeah, the dad from Full House, Bob Saget. Well, that's, that's irrelevant and stupid, and that's probably why you're gonna lose again. Just take the L on it. I'm not, the L, I'm not taking the L. Finally, I really believe we found a diamond in the rough. We got Bernard Hopkins versus Bebu Shumana. Wait, is this even a real fight? First of all, Bernard is about 50 years old. They might as well roll his old ass out to the ring in a wheelchair. Okay, I get it. You know what? He's old. He might wear Depends under his boxers, but you can't forget that this guy is a legend. And this Babu Shumanov thing? No. Okay, I never heard of this guy, Babu Shumanov, either. But all I know is he's Asian, he's ripped, and he's not 50 years old. And in my book, I've seen enough Bruce Lee movies to know you don't go against an Asian ripped guy. But Nob Harkin's gonna take the L on this one. Well, there you have it. It's time to any up, and what's the bet? Option one, get 10 people to join you in a dance party on Venice Boardwalk. Option two, sell 15 roses on a highway ramp in under 30 minutes. And finally, option three, raise five people in a shopping center while riding a Segway in a spandex onesie. Wow, so uh, there you guys have it. Don't forget to vote on your favorite dare by leaving it in a comment below so you can hopefully see Trey do it next week. No, no, it's not gonna happen. I'm not doing any dares, I promise you that. I hope they pick the worst one for you. No, no, no. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I am your host, Dylan Garcia. And I am your host, Trey Mo. Thank you for watching Any Up. See you guys again next week. Any Up. It's like such an honor to be working with Gabby Douglas. And how many basketballs did you eat for breakfast this morning? Did you bring your medals with you? Yes, I brought my medals. I brought my medals. They are right here. Medals. Medals.